Mehra would be standing against each other and the motion for them is a 36 years old female. A 36 years old female has high myopia, an anterior chamber depth of 3.2, 3.2 millimeters and an endothelial cell count of 1200 cells per millimeter square. She wants total independence from glasses. The modality you would choose would be, Dr. Pooja says that she would do a fake aisle placement from the most trusted manufacturer. What would Ro Dr. Rohan say is something that would come later. Pooja, are you ready? Yes. Your time starts now. Good evening, I'm Dr. Pooja Mehta and I'm here to burn it all down and take my opponent down. I'm a director of the Vision Eye Center Mumbai and a consultant at CKI Institute. So the motion that I have got is a 36-year-old female who is a high myopic, has an ACD of 3.2 with an endothelial cell count of 1200 and she wants total independence of glasses. So what does a refractive surgeon do? Not going next. <laughs> So definitely I have chosen the modality is placing a fake IOL placement from the most trusted manufacturer. The reason being, okay, the reason being I have chosen fake IOL from a trusted manufacturer because why would I want the accommodation of a 36 year old patient going away when you can simply put an AC IOL inside the place, uh, piece, IOL. Uh, can you place a IOL inside the eye? However, I would not want my opponent to remove her accommodating powers and remove the crystalline lens. It's not changing. Also, also, the patient has a... <laughs> also, the ACD, the patient has an ACD of 3.2 mm and an endothelial cell count of 1200. I'm a confident that I'm a pretty good surgeon and I'll be able to have a good wall size unlike him, which he thinks he won't be able to achieve. Also, the complications and stresses of a high myop cataract surgery comes with, you know, having fluid accumulation under the iris or having a PCR and the stresses that follow post-surgery. I would leave all the stresses, of course, on him if he wants to go ahead and go ahead with that. Also, it's been eight years plus that we have many papers that have been published on the implications of posterior chamber fake IOC implant intraocular lenses in international journals like Frontiers in Medicine, which have an impact factor of 5.049. And I don't think my opponent has ever published any article in such high impact journals. I'm confident that because of in innovations with uh, you know ICLs which have a central hole, there are lesser chances of any complications that can happen. Also, uh, when a high, we have a high myope, the IOL power calculation is so difficult and when she wants complete independence of glasses, why not give it with putting an ICL instead of having post-refractive surgery complications? Now I'm 100% sure that he'll be thinking in his head, how did I not see this? Do you have an answer to this? 